So, how are the repairs coming along? Uh, I've done everything I can, but I'm missing some parts and can't move on. What kind of parts? A bit of everything. The thing is that I'm not looking for very precise models or anything. I can always adapt, but I'm still gonna need some more gear. Well, I hope we'll find everything we need in this area then. We ought to. Is there any way I can help? Nope. I'm almost done. Okay, but after that, for it to grow, won't we need to water them or anything? Not these ones. The soil looks sufficiently flow-rich for their needs. After all, they were already thriving when we got here. Does that mean we'll have nothing left to do before we have some fat homemade fruits? You could always sing to them. It helps. For real? No scientific study has ever proven the contrary. So, maybe? Do you think they'll like some acrobats? It'll be your mission to find out. drifting next time. It makes faster turns.
so what's the plan exactly? Walking right back to this dead end? What? This is the path we took when we were separated from the nest. There's nothing there. I know, I know. I just want to make sure we didn't miss anything. Huh. Works for me. this rust. Are you following? Why wouldn't I? Let me know when you want to lead, all right? Sure will. Chickens! So, what's this rocky chunk got to say? Well, for starters, it says it's not a rock. Really? What is it then? Some kind of metal? No, it's not mineral or organic. So, what is it? <laughs> Going straight to the hard questions. But that is not how science works. How does it work then? First of all, you formulate a hypothesis. Then you build an experiment to test this hypothesis. You observe, and you learn. Okay, then what have you learned? That I'm lacking imagination regarding hypotheses? One thing we know for sure is that rust particles scatter immediately when in contact with flow. I'd like to observe this reaction more closely. You can do that next time. Right now, you should go to bed. Already? What time is it? No idea, but I know I'm sleepy, and I want my snuggles before I crash. <laughs> gotcha. All right, you can open your eyes. Surprise anniversary! Huh? <laughs> I meant to say surprise, and then I thought. Happy anniversary. I panicked. Whose anniversary is it? It's our anniversary. One month on Source. 
Already? Yeah. I mean, give or take a few days. I went by fast. Yeah. Remember the time we almost died crashing on this planet? And the time we almost died in an earthquake? Ah, and the time we almost died fighting that critter? I hope this is only the beginning. And that I'll have many more chances to almost die with you. Aren't you a charmer? So? Are you gonna open your present? Well, our present. Sure. Sure. Uh-huh. But what is it? Fermented apple dews. I stuck them in the soaker tub to accelerate the process. I'm calling it apple brew. Hmm. Do you think that it's any good? Well, worst case scenario, we just wasted some apple dews. No big deal. Should we open it now? We can open it whenever you want. To us. To us. Hey, that's really good, actually. <laughs> that's really strong, too. Do you remember the first time you talked about leaving the apiary? <laughs> of course. I'd had a shouting match with my mom. I was just angry. No, oh, before that. Before? We had landed the nest on a hilltop, we were stargazing, and you said, Come on, let's go. Hmm? I haven't stopped thinking about it since that day. I think that's what pushed me to dig into the Astro Company archives, which led me to find the coordinates of Source. I wanted to be ready for the day. Wait, wait, when was that? I don't remember. Right at the beginning, you and your mom got in a fight, you hopped into the nest at night, and you picked me up at my house. Was that when we went to the uplands? Yes, the uplands. That's it. Oh, <laughs> Flute, I remember. It was in Frozember. It was super cold out. I was freezing. I just wanted to get back into the nest. That's why I said, let's go. <laughs> and since you didn't respond, I thought you wanted to stay outside. So I didn't push it. I actually caught a beast of a cold that night. Wait, so that means... If I hadn't misunderstood that night... I wouldn't have caught a cold. No, but wait. You don't realize how deep this goes. That means we would never have known about Source. We would have never come all the way here. We would probably still be stuck in the apiary. Sure. But if I hadn't caught a cold, I would have never been stuck in bed for a week. And you would have never visited me for tea, with armloads of homemade cookies. And you would have never hung out with me for hours on end when I look like a ghost. And I wouldn't have fallen in love with you. So who knows? Maybe I would be living happily in the apiary with my mate. Really? The cookies? That's what made you fall in love? In my defense, they were some excellent cookies. But no, idiot, it wasn't the cookies. It was the thoughtfulness. I was sick, my nose was all swollen, croaking voice. I was a mess. And you just showed up, without me asking. I'd only known you for barely three weeks. You took care of me. You baked me some cookies. You stayed and chatted all night, even though it was pretty clear nothing would happen. And you kept on making me laugh, even though it hurt every time I laughed. I hated you. What was it? Did you fall in love, or did you hate me? Well, they're not mutually exclusive. Kinda like salty sweet. Here. Give me a taste.
Okay? We need to talk. Should I be worried? Yes. No. Maybe. Promise me you won't be mad. I can't promise anything without knowing what this is about. <sighs> it's about your skidding skills. Oh. <laughs> Let's just say that you could use some extra training. <laughs> okay. Show me. You're not mad? Why would I be mad? I love to learn new things. All right. Let's hop on a few threads to practice. Did it! Let's do another one! Now! Now you're getting it! Let's see if you can keep it going! Say, I have an excellent teacher. Well, you passed the test. Let's get back to business. How do you feel? Better. So, what's the plan exactly? What? This is the... Ugh, I might... Should we... Whatever works for you. Double backflip. What's up? Whew. Well, I have to admit, I just flipped once. Oh yeah, so did I. It's a double, because there's two of us. Oh, okay. <laughs>
We almost missed this one. What was that noise? Ugh, oh, my stomach. It needs to be fed soon. There it is. We've gone full circle. Now we just need to circle all the way back around. Ugh, this is so frustrating. Stop it! You're scaring them! We're speeding toward them, and you think my boo is the scary part. Thunderous applause. We're too heavy. Nah, this aerial threat is just too fragile.
Okay, now I'm really starving. Imagine how I feel. Hey, isn't that oink? Bro. There's kind of an apple dew taste. It's in there. What are you looking for? My necklace, you know, with the metal. Well, where's the last place you saw it? <sighs> really? All right, all right. I'm just trying to help. If you want to help, help me look for it. I'm looking, I'm looking. Uh, you know we'll find your medal eventually. The nest isn't that big. What if I lost it outside? Uh, yes. That would be a problem. Worst case scenario, we can make another one. Which do you want? Medal for best cook? For distinguished service under the sheets? You don't understand. I've always had that medal. Since I was a baby. This is the last memory I have of my parents. Okay. In that case, uh, and you never take off your medal? No, except when I shower, I guess. The string doesn't do well in water. So, did you check out the shower area? Huh. Got it! You're the best, you! It's not like there was a lot of competition. 